good afternoon. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Today's video I'd like to show off how I added a scan feature to my Uniden Pro 505XL scanner. Now this scanner does not come with a scan feature so I thought I would try and add one. Here's another view of my CB. This is probably the cheapest CB radio you can buy new. I think it costs something really cheap like fifty dollars on Amazon. May have gone up in price since I bought it about five years ago I think. Personally I have a base station set up here at home. I've got a pyramid power supply uh, LMR 400 run outside hooked up to an Antron 99. Maybe one day I'll make a video on that too. Here is my tool of choice and I've never really spent the effort to study how this radio is set up and working but here's what it looks like when I opened it up at the power supply kind of on this side antenna jack and at the faceplate kind of like the user interface on the front whatever you call this uh, this is where the buttons are kind of set up the scan up and down well not scan but channel select up and down and this is the radio upside down and at the rear so this is the scan up button this one here. So once again on this radio this is the channel select up button. This one here. So that's this button here. It has four I don't know legs on the button and this is ground so when you push the button it gives a low signal back to ground. And how that works as far as the channel going up or down, I don't know if it's hooked up to a, an integrated circuit or not. I haven't studied it enough. But anyway, all I did was solder two wire connections on to the ground and to this connection here. And I ran them out the side of my radio in a hole that I had drilled previously which I won't explain. Here is the job here. I don't know if I can zoom and I've got I've got closer close-up pictures but you can see I just soldered two wires that's it. I had to bend up this wiring harness type of thing just to get access to it but it was a really easy job. Here's another shot of it and these wires I just tucked out this hole here. I took a lot of pictures. Here's my soldering iron. Very cheap. The cheapest one you can buy at Canadian Tire. I've never had a need to purchase an expensive soldering station. Not yet. Now while I had the CB radio open I decided to solder wires on the four pins for the microphone jack and that's a separate discussion and project which I will discuss later but I took these lines and ran them out the side too. Okay. Hi guys, good morning. Thank you very much for tuning into my channel. Please take a look at some of my other videos if you feel you like this one. I cover electronics and other things. By no means am I an expert, so I never want to try to come off as one, but I am a genuine enthusiast. Well, anyway, I've been uh, experimenting here, and what I did is I opened up my CB and I attached 
some wires to the channel up button, not the down one, just the up one, just for now. And I realized that this button pulls the signal low to ground. So I haven't fully studied the circuit inside the CB, but when this button is pushed, it pulls a low signal, and that low signal maybe triggers a chip or something. I'm, I haven't really researched it, and it changes the channel up. So I thought, well, if I hook the signal up to a relay, and this is one of those cheap five volts Arduino relays and I pull the signal low using this relay by closing the switch pulling it low then with a triple five timer circuit I can actually create a scan feature for this CB radio which otherwise does not have a scan feature. So I'm pretty proud of it. I'm pretty proud of it. And, uh, well, without wasting too much more time, I'll plug in the power supply for the triple five timer in. And you can see that it works. Now the triple five timer, if you know much about those, if you're into if you're into electronics you really should um, you know you can change the rate of oscillation I guess is the correct word by adjusting the capacitor and resistance values so I can actually increase the speed of the scan rate so I'll adjust the 10k trim pot Too fast. Now I initially had a problem, and maybe I can demonstrate it this way. If I take out this capacitor here, well, I don't even, I don't even have to take it out. Now I will take it out. You'll notice that the triple five timer circuit is flashing on and off at a consistent rate. The problem is, I suppose if I hooked it up this way, that works, but sometimes it can double tap. So for instance, when I have it at a really slow rate, it'll accelerate the channels. It'll just cycle through them really quickly. And that's because it's the relay is pulsing with the triple five timer. So I needed a way to have a very short burst on and then off for a length of time. So I realized that if I hooked up the triple five timer and charge a capacitor and then have it slowly discharge through a 10k resistor then I could achieve a, a quicker blip with a longer off time so I'll send this back to ground that's how I did it uh oh screwed up my circuit I think I got it correct. So now, while the light is on for a little while, there's a quick blip as the capacitor charges and then slowly discharges through the 10K resistor. I had to experiment with the value of this capacitor. 
I tried a one microfarad capacitor up to a 220 microfarad capacitor. And ultimately I found that this 47k, excuse me, 47 microfarad capacitor was probably the best. And although I haven't fully figured out why, the higher voltage rating on the capacitor, like this one's rated at 50 volts, it seems to improve the ability of the relay to go on and off. And I'm not sure why that would even be the case. Maybe that's just a fluke. So I fully intend to put this triple five timer into a kit box and have it sort of as a separate gadget that will scan through the channels on this CB. Again, this uh, Uniden Pro 505 XL does not come with a scan feature. <laughs> so I've just changed that. You can't hear the speaker right now, pretty much because I don't have the antenna hooked up. I'm wondering if I plug in the microphone, whether that will enable the, uh, the speaker to go on. I'm not even sure if it's going to work. Oops. There we go. Okay, I guess so. Turn the squelch. Yeah, there's no signal. I'd have to hook up the antenna. But I am getting the beeping. I'm getting the beeping of the channel select. Well, that didn't take very long. I spent maybe a, an hour opening up the radio and soldering some wires. That was a very easy job. Okay, for those interested in the triple five timer circuit, this is the one I used. I pretty much just used Google Images and searched for a triple five timer in a stable mode. And this is what I got. Uh, the only thing I changed really was this, was that a coupling capacitor? I'm not even sure, but it's on pin five for the control, which I don't even know if it makes a difference. I had a 103, which was 10 nanofarads. Well, I changed that to, um, what's the one, 104 one, which is 0.1 microfarad. So I, I changed that little ceramic capacitor. No big deal. I kept every other value the same, except I included a variable a variable potentiometer on this uh, voltage divider R2 potentiometer, and it seemed to work fine. And then coming off of the diode, I suppose I could draw it in here, I guess. Oh, but, uh, I don't know, find a pencil that works. Um, I added a capacitor, that's a capacitor symbol, which was 47 microfarad. And then I added a 10K resistor and back to ground. Or I could just send it back to ground there, something like that. And that kind of worked. And then for this relay, I came off the end of the capacitor. And I don't know what the schematic symbol is for a relay, but this is where I added the relay here. Now this relay has like a, a VCC in, a ground, and then this is the signal in. And the signal in is coming off that capacitor. So it's a quick blip. And as the capacitor charges, it goes off immediately. And the cool thing about this relay is that 
it has these LEDs which kind of show what's happening. The, the input signal blinks. And then anyway, this is like a normally open switch. And so I guess when the relay goes on, it closes it. And then closes on the wires that are going into my CB radio, which I already kind of explained. So, well, now that we have the overhead view, I guess I'll just turn everything back on again. And I'll turn the CB on too. So, yeah, the green light here, kind of nice. I don't know, just blinks. Well, thank you very much for watching my video. Have a good day.